Friends and family, welcome to another video. So this is your girl coming back at you with another hair perspective. Okay, now in this video, as you've seen from the title, we're about to talk about hair wax, okay? What a hair whack is, a hair hack that doesn't work and therefore it is whack, okay? I'm just saying. I know it sounds kind of corny, but it's just, it is what it is. Some of these hair hacks out there, child. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the video and tell you exactly which ones don't work or let's just say didn't work for me. So if you're interested in not wasting your time with any hair wax, stay tuned. So this is one of the very few times you're gonna see me with my hair like this, okay? I know, yes, I shaved it and everything and you've seen the video. Now, it's been exactly one month, four weeks to the day since I shaved my head, okay? Now, I took the opportunity to try all these hair hacks that are talking about grew one inch in one month, or grew one inch in one week, actually, I should say, or grew half an inch overnight. Oh, I've tried them. I have tried them all. So, I have the responses for you. So let's start with number one. The number one hair whack is that hanging your head upside down for a few minutes, I think between five and seven minutes or so a day is going to help grow your hair. I did, okay? And in, I did it probably about twice a week and in the one month that I've had my hair, you know, shaved, I have grown no more than a quarter of an inch and I will show you, I can't even, I can't even hold it enough to measure it on this ruler for you to see. So I'll show you a picture that I inserted. I actually suffered to try to get to pull the hair, you know, straight like this. There you go. And you see where it is, right? So I'll show you that I'll insert the pictures. So this hanging your head upside down situation didn't work. And the number two hair whack is that massaging your scalp frequently will help your hair grow faster. I have been using my hands like this every single day to massage my scalp. And about every other day or so, I've been using this thing, which is all over YouTube about, oh, how wonderful it is to use it. You can use it when you're shampooing your hair because you can open it up, right? And put the shampoo in there. And you know, you can rub as you're washing your hair and you're massaging your scalp at the same time. You know what I use it for? Every evening, for some reason, my scalp gets itchy. And that's because I was using Jamaican black castor oil. That's another one I'll tell you. So I was using Jamaican black castor oil, right? And I was going ahead and just, you know, when I use it, it makes my, my scalp a little bit itchy. So I was using this to scrap instead of using my fingernails. As you can see from my ruler hair measurement, it did not promote any growth. My hair has grown maybe a quarter of an inch, probably exactly a quarter of an inch from the ruler thing that I showed you. And my hair usually grows an average of what? Half an inch a month. I'm a regular normal person. If I do some extraordinary stuff with the braids and whatnot, and you know, after braiding it, put things in it, then I may get three quarters of an inch, but typically it's half an inch when I do cornrows. Anyway, so that didn't work. Hair whack number three, the bagging method, okay? You put oils and stuff in, you know, on your scalp, and then you go ahead and cover it with a plastic cap, right? And then you tie it down overnight. And yes, it's okay to go to bed with some bling on your scarf, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just. Can't be going to bed looking ratchet. I'm just saying, I'm just, you have to always be on point. So that didn't work. I want to caveat all this by saying I'm not trying to grow my hair fast because I'm really enjoying this. I can wash it every day. I can put it in water whenever I feel like it. I can. I'm just. It's just so freeing. So I'm not trying to grow my hair fast. However, 
I wanted to prove a point. So, when best to prove the point than when your head is bald? Okay, so that didn't work. So that was what? A hair whack. The other thing is the hydration method. Obfusely hydrating your hair makes it grow overnight. No, it doesn't. Okay. Basically, it may cause that hydro fatigue with your hair strands so that they're very, they're more elastic and therefore you can stretch it, you can pull it. So if, especially if your hair is long, the weight also elongates it because you've hydrated it so much. Okay, so that, I hate to break your heart, didn't grow your hair. <laughs> it just overhydrated it and made it very, 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 very elastic. The next thing is the teas, okay? As you saw in my, my other, oh, was it bamboo tea and whatnot? I'm just saying. It didn't grow my hair. The oils that I was putting in my scalp every day was castor oil and which is a really really hair growth instigator if I can put it that way but for my scalp child all it did was make my scalp itch nothing else so all the things that I've listed so far are hair wax what are the true hair hacks is what may strengthen your hair what may moisturize your hair what you take internally that can affect your hair growth. The tea didn't work for me. Um, biotin didn't work for me. Hair growth multivitamins didn't work for me. I'm just saying it can for some people. If your hair is not growing at its optimum, then those things can help. But what certainly does work for most people, including myself, is braiding. Point blank, period, end of statement. When I braid my hair, I get about a half an inch a month, sometimes more. When I do cornrows, I don't get that much growth a month. I get about half an inch. If I do individual braids, especially the larger ones for some reason, easily three quarters of an inch a month. Easily. Okay. And I'm talking about because my hair was relaxed slash text last, I, it's not the stretching of it because you can see the new growth. <laughs> You know the difference between the new growth and the the chemically processed hair so that's how you know how much hair you've grown that is a hair hack it is not a hair whack okay just FYI so all of this to say for me these hair hacks are mostly hair wax okay they did not work for yours truly and I have proof that they didn't work for yours truly. Suffice it to say, I am not an example of every single person out there. If it works for you, you do you, boo, you do your thing, yes. But me, uh uh, braiding is it, okay? It gets enhanced with, you know, of course, diet and everything. And if I oil my scalp and everything while it's braided, it does enhance it. However, without the braiding, Time out, ain't nothing going on, I'm just saying. So that's all I have for you, friends and family. I just want you to know, don't waste your time on some of these things because that's all that they are. They are whack and they will waste your time, okay? Thank you so much for joining me again. This is all in good fun. Don't get all upset about it. If it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me, I'm just saying. So let's just, Keep it nice and friendly and I will see you all in the very next video. Wearing a wig. This situation right here, you ain't gonna see it much. You see, you see, you see the goat poop? You see the goat poop? Yeah, the ringlets. No, you ain't gonna see it again for a while. <laughs> yeah, love you. Take care, bye.